Okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, so I'd like to hand over now to uh, Tomotaka if he's. Yeah, hello. Um, could could I uh, could I off the um, video because my line is too heavy. Maybe it's cut down. Yeah, it's fine. If you want to keep your your camera off, that's absolutely fine. We understand okay. that, so you can keep your sound clear. All right. So if you don't mind, before you start, I'd like to introduce you. Um, so we okay. have Tomotaka Shirayama, uh, who is a postgraduate student at the University of Exeter. Currently, he's in charge of a publicity position at JOLT, Toyohashi. So JOLT is uh, another uh, organization similar to Kotisol operating in Japan. His research interest is computer-assisted language learning, COL, and task-based language teaching, TBLT, um, in English as a foreign language settings. And second language ac acquisition is also an interest. He is currently teaching English for the nursing school at Nagoya Women's University. And today, um, Tomotaka will be presenting comparing syntactic complexity and lexical complexity in two modes of CMCs. So I'll hand over to you now. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Tomotaka Shirayama. Then I'm now teaching English at the Nagoya Women's University and the Chukyo University. Then from this autumn semester, I'm going to teach University of Nagoya in general English. So today I'm going to talk about um, TBLT using synchronous asynchronous computer mediated communication, investigate lexical diversity and syntactic complexity. Uh, this study was conducted as a case study in Japan. So let's start. Then my currently I'm doing my Master of Philosophy, University of Exeter, but based in Japan. I'm a distance student. So it's a background in Japan. So in Japan is, in Japan, English education is English as a foreign language. So it means we the student, student using English opportunities are really limited. Then mixed, a uh, mix means Ministry of Education introduce new course of study. So new course of studies focus on communicative abilities means improve communicative abilities as a central premise in the foreign language education. Then in the mix 2013, emphasize the following three points. First one is a learner-centered activities. Learner-centered activities, increasing student interaction during the classroom. Then second one is grammar is supplemental to that support of communication. To communicate with people, accuracy is, accuracy is more important. So grammar is needed. Then also grammar is long. Long information will be conveyed. Then number three is the English lessons using a translation are not emphasized. In Japan, most high school and junior high school and EE, including higher education, students don't intend to learn the language uh, because a, a teacher do grammar translation method. So students will be more passive. then we must think about best approaching means new teaching approaches. So new teaching approaches, for example, a teacher think about, a teacher, uh, he is teaching the English, then must think about the new way of teaching. For example, new uh, to acquire language theories. First one is input theories. Input theories according to Klassen, 1985. 
learners are able to acquire language through ample accidental or subconscious exposure to input, output is not needed. Then interaction series, long 1983, load of output is important. The modification in interaction gives learners the best input, which can assist the learner to acquire new language. Then two years later, in 1985, long output theories, output hypothesis is a sorry, is a swain, right in swain theories. When learner try to make themselves understand their language can be promoted. Then a baby, our younger children want to speak English as communicative tools. So maybe um, task-based language teaching will be most effective way because task-based language teaching, including input, uh, input interactions and including output theories and the fully recognized uh, teaching method. For example, in 2014, Liao and Fu argue task-based language teaching has been recognize an important approach in language pedagogy for achieving communicative effectiveness. So changing the direction in EFL education in Japan. Next 2020, recently, two years ago, then coronavirus is widespread. 2020 promoted to use ICT. So to force the ability to think, make a decision and express one through mutual learning, such as exchanging opinion and making a presentation in the use and exchange the school in other regions overseas is the first one, for example, uh, using a blackboard and a video conference system, uh, for example, Zoom and Skype. And the second one is the effective effective use of ICT is expected bring educational benefit. For example, digital textbook and the teaching materials, study introduction digital textbook, for example, students understand more image and also audio and the video is more student easy to understand also exchange opinion really easy. Then introduction TBLT. So now recently my my previous slide talk about ICT education. Then my this topic is integrated task-based language teaching and also using technologies. First one is, for example, people have smartphones, own smartphones, then connect to internet. It means inter interconnected compu computers between individual or groups, separated in space or times, which called computer-mediated communication. The definition of Lupini 2007, then uh, Joy 100, 2011, states that most computer-mediated communication is a used text-based communication. So the computer-mediated communication divided into two groups. First one is a synchronous computer-mediated communication. People communicate with each other simultaneously, for example, in Zoom on the messengers line or Skype. The other hand is asynchronous computer mediated communication. People communicate with at different times, for example, MOOCs and the Blackboard and Moodles and the forum discussions. Then the advantage of integration of TBLT and the CMC is a two sides, uh, two, two, two purpose, 
A uh, first one is pedagogical purpose. So pedagogical purpose is a three aspect. First one, language use opportunities. For example, language use opportunities, language exchange application, for example, e-tandem or a tandem application. Then individual learning. So individual learning, for example, uh, people sit, sit at home or people sit at school, then really individual learning, it means self-paced learning and the feedback and the interaction, feedback and the interaction. Interaction with a different level of student. Uh, for example, na non-native learners and the native learners. So native learners collect partners English. A higher proficiency level of student help with lower level of student, like a scaffolding uh, function. And the other side is benefit of integrating a TV, LT, and the CMC is a language aspect. For example, increasing autonomy. And the second one is classroom qualities. And the third one is develop critical learning perspective. In my class, now I'm teaching uh, Tokyo University's case. So Tokyo University case, students are really low motivated, low motivated, and IL score is 3.0 to 4.5, really inter, really lower levels, then student is really low motivated. Then I use asynchronous computer mediated communication. Student uh, post some message in the forum. Then students um, increasing self-paced -la self learning, also exchanging opinions. So really um, student motivated is high, also uh, getting more knowledge, new knowledge, because exchanging uh, opinions. And the value of these studies. So first one, there is a lot of problems. So the integration of task-based language is a truly really new issues because first one, it's a number of studies, for example, using more than one form of study. A TBLT is a of TBLT flame is really scarce because most of the studies focus on task, are focus on asynchronous computer mediated communication or asynchronous computer mediated communications. The second one is despite of increasing interest in task-based language teaching and the CMC, research on task-based language and CMC is also scant. scant. Also, however, is a third one. It is necessary to school tinies, whether or not the integration TBLT in different CMC settings can truly suit real needs. Because in Japan, in Japan, English is a really limited and only classroom. So students are not accustomed to using English. So um, the problem is students must student must learn must use English outside the classroom. So real time real needs of it, language use is also needed. Then the problem is e ESL beginners are not suitable for using computer mediated communication. So we have to have to do more more research. Then learners performance in TBLT and the performance, how to evaluate. There, there are three um, approaches, three theories. As the first one is cognitive theories, uh, focus on complexity, accuracy, and the fluency is measured. Then second one is interaction theories, negotiation of meaning. So negotiation of meaning, it's a number of clarification requests and the comprehension requests and the confirmation requests and the request. Then third one is social culture theories. Social culture theories assess the by degree of learners' interaction involvement and the symmetries. 
the problem is second one, second and the third theory is uh, really difficult. Then not justified theoretically and empirically. Then these studies will be employed complexity and accuracy fluency dimensions assess the task performance for learners. Then I'm going to talk about different three previous studies. So different, the first one is from 2008, the study conducted in Korea. The investigated character of linguistics output SCMC and HMC modes, transferability to Tetis based CMC to oral performance. The first research question is uh, what does the character of linguistics output produce in SCMC and HMC? And the second one is are uh, the linguistic characters, characteristics gained from SCMC and HMC transferred into oral performance? The result was the result was um, asynchronous computer mediated communication transfer to oral performance. Also, as HMC mode more 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 language output a AS unit. AS unit is a single speaker's utterance. Then second study is a Stockwell 2010, it's almost 10 years ago, investigated 24 advanced learners of university students discourse functions, lexical density and the grammatical complexity and accuracy using SGMC and HMCs. His study was open-ended questions. I forgot the saying, I forgot the saying, uh, most, most studies using computer mediated communications using task type is open ended questions. Then, play, then Stockwell studies, research question is how do interactions in task carried out in SGMC and HMC compare in terms of lexical density and the spelling accuracy? Then second research question is how do interaction in tasks carried out in SGMC and HMC compare in terms of syntactic complexity and accuracy? Then third research question is what features are there in the discourse when completing tasks through SGMC and HMCs? In his studies, let's call density examine TTR, then result is there is no any significant difference between uh, both modes, while the TTR shows significant difference compared with SGMCs. Then grammatical complexity is using C unit. C unit is a communicative unit, as simi a similar, uh, similar to a C unit. And HMCs tend to be more complicated compared with SCMCs. Then spelling accuracy is more, more accurate SCMCs things. Then SCMC session is a 20 minutes. Then HMC session is a 20 minutes, at least once a week. Then previous studies, three questions, uh, third, uh, third studies, uh, Shirayama 2021, I conducted last year's uh, investigated ESL learners, number of, number of participants is 18, English universities, um, I was in Exeter last year, then I used, uh, I did these studies, then examine Lexical diversity and the syntactic complexity. This such question one is: Is there any difference lexical diversity between SGMC and the HMCs? And the second one is: Is there any difference syntactic complexity between the discourse produced 
in synchronous and asynchronous computer mediated communication. This study use decision making task because most studies did open ended questions. Then because decision making task is neglected and also to improve communicative abilities, it's it's an, it will be useful to to use communicative tasks. So the result, result is there is no any significant difference between logical logical diversity between synchronous asynchronous communication. However, regarding the syntactic complexity, so syntactic complexity use uh, mean length of sentence, mean length of clause, mean length of uh, T unit. So regarding the mean length of T unit, re related to more correlation student writing abilities. So these three measures are more significant difference ACMC modes. Then my current studies, the current study, this study investigated is a changing EFL context because in Japan, university English system is only EFL. Then this, the number of participants is nine because I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't recruit many, many students. So then focus on logical complexity and the syntactic complexities. Logical complexity measures is a VOCD. Then syntactic complexity is MT, uh, MLTU and also spelling address is a per hundred to one hundred words randomly. Is a first one, a first research question. Is there any difference logical diversity between SGMC and HMC? And the second research question is any difference syntactic complexity between synchronous and asynchronous mode? And the third research question is, is there any difference spelling accuracy between the discourse produced synchronous and asynchronous mode? The research instrument is my university use Google. So it, I use Google application. Synchronous computer mediated communication is a Google chat. Then asynchronous is a spreadsheet use Google Classroom. Then two decision making tasks. So decision making task is really difficult to design by myself. So I use Cambridge uh, 2014 revised version because Cambridge, uh, Cambridge decision making task is same difficult levels each questions. Then also background question is including age and the length of the length of studying also self-reported English language, English, English proficiency test. The studying information, age is, um, I focus on postgraduate and undergraduate student. Then postgraduate student is a uh, average is a uh, my average student age is twenty six years old between ages twenty to forty. The length of learning English is at uh, almost thirty years. Then eight years to maximum twenty years. Length of time participants had spent living in English countries is average is uh, three point five years. Then minimum is a uh, ten months and maximum is seventy years. Then self-reported IELTS scores. My my class, all students have to go to study abroad in as a postgraduate and undergraduate programs. Then average score is a six point three. Then range is a five point five to 7.5. And the data analysis is lexical diversities. So I use lexical diversities. 
the what is let's scale diversity is the definition McCarthy and the J. 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 Jarvis 2007, the range of and the variety of vocabulary deployed in text by either speaker or writers. The results shown in this table below to calculate lexical diversity is a D value, then using text in spec data. The mean is 100C and is SCMC, and SCMC is 69.94. So it's a SD is a 35 and SD is a, a 15. So significant difference. So SGMC mode. Then data analysis is a syntactic complexities. So syntactic complexity, I use mean length of T unit. So calculated by syntactic complexity analyzer. So there's designed by Lee Liu, a Pennsylvania University. So SGMC is uh, 11.5 and HMC is uh, 16.46. The result is more significant, more significant difference regarding HMC mode. The result of spelling atlases so spelling accuracy is errors, errors per 100 words. 100 words is randomly 100 words, then calculated by text inspectors. SCMC is uh, more accurate, is 1.34. 1, 1 then SCMC is uh, 0 0.22. So more accurate is SGMC mode. The discussion. So discussion is a possibility use a variety of vocabulary. So instead of difficult to, to work, for example, using phrase verb, phrase verb, or maybe more longer sentence. So it's lexical diversity more, more a lot of variety regarding synchronous computer mediated communication. Then also regarding synchronous computer mediated communication, learners pay the attention, correct the spelling. So because to convey their message at late, it is, so, so it's um, a synchronous computer mediated communication is more at late. Then also the proficiency level is the learner should be considered utilized CMC effectively. So this study is focused on advanced learners. So advanced learners more use language abilities more easily to communicate with partners. This the last one is utilization of GMC online chat or forum discussion can use separately. For example, if we instructor use online chat maybe still more practic more practic opportunities or asynchronous mode is for beginners learners because students can improve more longer sentences and future study and the conclusion First one is a language educator should investigate which technology is the most effective. As I already said, think about not only technology is the best, but also instruction is important because especially beginners and pre-intermediate learners, students are too difficult to use language classroom beyond the classroom. The second one is in order to understand student discourse features, it will be need, needed to investigate the discourse features quantitatively. For example, let's call let's let's call frequency or let's call sophistication or let's call densities. So check the vocabulary levels. The third one is it will be necessary to explore how students work on tasks using synchronous and asynchronous mode. 
for example, such as recording video or asking questionnaire about student perspective of CMC language learning. The third one is I will, I already carried out my, my master of philosophy's thesis. Yeah, this is my reference. Is a new, the last year's my publication is a 2021 in Chinese in National Universities Library uh, is a repository. The, the reference also, please read after, after my presentation. Yeah, thank you for listening to my presentation. Tomotaka, thank you so much. Um, so now I'm going to open up the floor to questions. Um, so again, if anybody has a question, you can feel free to turn on your mic or type in the chat box. Um, so I, I found that was really interesting, um, the computer mediated communication. It's something I've relied on a lot this semester where I'm working, um, we've it's the first time that we've had online classes in in the specific the specific institution where i work they didn't have to have online classes so far and we had a situation where we were online for two weeks so i didn't know at the time but i was re relying on the computer mediated communication and uh, tomotaka as you said um, the instructions are so important because yeah. even though my students knew how to use the technology we were using to communicate, we were using Google Classroom and yeah. um, some other things like Padlet, I didn't realize my instructions weren't clear enough to them. So it was yeah. a learning curve for me as well. Um, so yeah, that really resonated with me. And it's interesting to know also that there it's... Um, the scarce uh, research uh, uh, regarding like a uh, TBLT and TBLL as well in connection with communi uh, computer mediated communication. That was interesting um, for me. Are there any other questions uh, or any other remarks um, 